Today is gonna to be a great review that I've been super excited to do because we're talking about body armor from Troy Lee Designs, one of my favorite brands out there. Why are we talking about body armor? Why would you even wanna wear it? Well, personally, I've had a couple experiences that has led me to the conclusion that I really need to wear some body armor. One was simply a wipeout on TNA where my Ibis Ritmo came flipping around and hit me in the ribs. Uh, the actual saddle did, and that bike's about 32 pounds, but with that type of velocity, uh, it actually bruised my spleen. And not too long ago, I wiped out on a car crash in San Clemente, and my chest actually hit my stem and handlebars, and I felt that for quite a while. Even more recently, Master Joseph over at Snow Summit did a sweet Pete Rose and landed Landed full on his chest while he had a chesty GoPro mount. Thankfully, he was wearing one of these pieces of armor, and even though his chest hurt, I think it actually protected him from breaking ribs, possibly even his sternum. So we're gonna be reviewing two pieces of Troy Lee body armor today. The first one we're gonna review is the TLD UPS 7850. That's a mouthful. I really wish I would've come up with some super cool name for it, like Teddy Bear or something. And the second one we're gonna review is the TLD UPV 3900. Again, not such a cool name. If I wanna call the other one Teddy Bear, I'm thinking about calling this one Tube Sock. That's an awesome name, TLD, take note. We're gonna review the short sleeve version of this first. There are some differences between these body armors beyond the fact that one has short sleeve and one has no sleeves. And now I'm gonna be wearing a red Nike dry fit shirt underneath these. You don't have to wear a shirt underneath these, but I found it actually makes these armor pieces easier to put on and off. And when you actually get sweaty, this material breathes so well and actually kind of cools you down. So I've tested these out in about 85 degree weather. Why did that sound so weird? Now I've tested both of these in around 85 degree weather, so I have firsthand experience on how well they do in the heat. So let's get this one put on. Well, that's fun. First thing you're gonna notice is uh, this armor, you put it on like a shirt. There are no straps to it. It's not that easily removable, but I will tell you it's incredibly light and super comfortable, especially if you're wearing one of these dry wick shirts under it. Now, I specifically chose a red shirt for this video. Uh, so it can play off of the black and you can see exactly where the armor begins and ends and what areas are, are open on this. Speaking of the first open area on this uh, short sleeve body armor is the armpits. You can see they're trying to give you some breathability here in the armpits. So if you're not wearing the dry wick shirt, you know that's obviously open, but it does give you some room to breathe. Uh, on the short sleeve version, it's definitely a thicker armor than the no sleeve version. Uh, it's noticeably different, still super comfortable. I mean. That's nice. High protection up here, a little more substantial on the clavicle. You should be able to fit a collar protector on this. This armor doesn't just end at the top of the stomach here. This armor actually continues on, unlike the no sleeve version, which ends right about here. This keeps going with more significant padding all the way down your stomach. You can see on the side, it even goes further down the side. And I believe these you can remove if you want to. If you didn't want all that protection on your side, you can remove some of these panels. Same as uh, the right-hand side here. Now, you also have spine protection on the back of this, which is super important for those of us who are using more of the fanny pack hydration packs or just a fanny pack to carry our gear and not a full backpack. This short sleeve gives a real significant amount of spine protection, and some spine protection is better than no protection at all. And I've really decided that I am going to ride with uh, either the short sleeve armor or the sleeveless armor, depending on where I'm riding from now on, just for that sake of protection, not just for my chest, but for my back. I don't wanna take any chances with my back at all. To give you an idea of what, what it is that's protecting you, you can actually pull these, uh, these spine paddings out. There's parts of this that you can, and this is essentially how thick the protection is. This is about how thick it feels on the chest too. And what you're getting, you get a little more protection in the middle of the spine and some of that flexibility. The cool thing about taking out that armor is maybe you're getting too hot or you don't wanna wash it with that uh, padding in it, so you can remove it if you choose to do that. You can also remove parts of the shoulder here. You can see what that looks like even.
Now when I say this is light, I mean it's super light and it's also super comfortable. It weighs only about a pound and it's super breathable, so it's not uncomfortable. And I personally wear this short sleeve version where the armor is a little thicker. This is just a little heavier than the uh, no sleeve version. I wear this at bike parks. I wear it up at Sky Park. I wear it at Snow Summit. I'll wear it at Snow Valley. Or if I know I'm gonna ride a trail that might be particularly gnarly or trying things that I have not done before, I would feel more comfortable taking a little bit of the heat penalty by wearing some body armor than the injury penalty should something go wrong. Now let's check out what this looks like actually underneath my jersey. So this is a large jersey, a custom jersey that I got from Canvas. I will leave a link in the description below if you wanna get a custom jersey. It's pretty sick. A little peace and love on the sleeve, get to represent my icon. But this is a large, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna scale up to an extra large jersey to accommodate for the armor or not, and I didn't feel like I had to. It actually works really well. I can still move around. I mean, I can feel the armor under there, but I feel a little bit like a superhero, which is super cool. Okay, now let's check out the other version, the sleeveless version, the UPV 3900. Now, the armor on this is actually just a little thinner. This is crazy comfortable. This comes in at about eight ounces. I don't feel like I have anything more than a tank top on. Uh, as you can see, here you do have some protection up uh, on the upper part of the chest you have some minor protection up here on the clavicle but still is protected which is really nice you can still fit a collarbone protector on here uh, the chest protector goes as wide as you can see here the main foam the more sturdy foam goes to the black little lighter foam on the gray and it goes to about the top here of your stomach where your stomach begins so you're not being protected from your abdomen down not on your ribs not on your torso uh, none of that part you can see here on the side you definitely get some sturdier protection on the side which really would be great if that saddle comes flying over on an otp and wants to spear you and that's the same on both sides obviously they're keeping it the same i still have the back spine protection it's not as significant as the short sleeve version, but it still adds something. So on my everyday rides, this is actually, if you see me out on the trails, this is what you'll actually see me wearing under my jersey from now on. Like I said, I just believe in protection and I really hate getting injured and having those injuries keep me off the bike or keep me from a quality of life that I really enjoy having off the bike. So it's worth me taking, again, a little bit of heat penalty in order to have a lot of protection from injury. If you're on the fence and you're thinking about getting one of these and you're wondering which one to get, this no sleeve version is perfect for everyday riding. It's a little lighter again at eight ounces, super breathable, and it just gives you a little more protection than wearing nothing at all. For bike parks and more aggressive riding, I would definitely go with the short sleeve version. They make this in a long sleeve version too that actually has some elbow protection and whatnot. I just prefer the short sleeve version. I can wear my own elbow pads that I prefer to use. Just a side note, when you look these up online, especially this short sleeve version, it looks so different different than what I'm showing you here. Online, that image looks like it's made out of leather, like you're getting some kind of bat suit out of it. That is not what it is. If you order that, you're gonna get exactly what I'm holding here, which is something that looks way more like a breathable material and not a hot piece of plastic all over your body. This one, if you look it up online, again, it might suffer from using that stock image that looks a little bit like the bat suit. It's way more of this breathable material. The cool thing about these are, they're super easy to wash. You can just throw them in the washer and then I don't dry them. I actually just kind of hang dry them and they smell super fresh after that, which is really great. So there you have it. The Troy Lee Designs UPS 7850 and the UPV 3900. Now that short sleeve version retails for about $119 and the no sleeve version retails for about $105. Short sleeve comes in at about a pound and the no sleeve comes in at about eight ounces. If you're on the fence as to which one to get, that no sleeve version really makes a great everyday uh, piece of protection that you can use for your everyday riding. And again, the one with the short sleeves is a little more padded, a little more durable, and that's gonna be great for bike parks. If you can afford both, I would suggest you go for both. And if you'd like to see more on the short sleeve review, I highly recommend checking out Trails from the Dark Side. My friend Scott did a review on it. It's currently healing up for an injury. Scott, I can't wait to see you back on the trails. If you're interested in that, I will leave a link down in the description below. All kinds of good stuff happens in the description. Check it out sometimes. If you see me out on the trails, you'll see me rocking one of those pieces of armor. Throw me a piece and love, and if this video was helpful to you, I would love to earn your subscription. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button, share it with a friend who's considering buying some armor. Next week, I'll be back on the trails, and until then, I wish you all peace and love. Say what you want, say what you will. I miss the ride, ride that I It's